Notice I've put being humble and the truth before this part. Hmm. There's a reason for that, and that is that if I'm not humble, divine love won't enter. The reason why it can't enter me is because if I'm not experiencing my emotions that oppose love, then how can love flow? Right? So if I've got an emotion inside of myself, let's say I have an emotion of I'm unworthy inside of me. I'm unworthy to connect to God inside of me. Let's say that emotion is sitting there. It will be sitting in this area of my body, by the way. Mm. So I might be putting on a bit of fat around this area here and, mm. and you know, things that are having trouble down there, maybe with my bowel or if I'm a woman with, you know, with all of, all of my feminine parts down there, I have started having trouble. And what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll be saying to God, really, from my soul, I'm really saying, I'm not worthy to get your love. Mm. But if I'm, if I'm willing to experience all of my emotions, then I'm mean willing to experience my unworthiness. Now, the instant I do that is the instant now that God's love can flow. Because I'm now willing to stop blocking the flow of love. Excuse me, could I just... I've, what I've been doing since viewing your uh, DVDs mm -hmm. is praying for divine love and asking <coughs> through the um, Holy Spirit uh, that um, my barriers and my blockages to receiving divine love are either uh, dissolved or, uh, or there is some way that I can identify, given me some way to identify. Can't you approach it that way, right? So, well, that's the same thing. I thought I was putting the cart before the horse. The barriers, the barriers to divine love are all here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And here. My inability to accept the truth in my life and my inability to experience all of my emotions. Mm -hmm. That's my barriers. So when, I start, when I'm having a longing to God to show me my barriers, I'm not receiving divine love at that point. I'm receiving divine truth at that point. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. I'm, I'm wanting divine truth. I'm asking truth. for love, though. I'm, asking, I'm asking for both at the same time. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So what you're doing is asking for all three yeah. in that one prayer, if you like. Yeah. But, but to really ask for it, you've got to live it. It's not just a matter of just saying those the words in your mind. It's now when a situation hits you in the face, which they all do, generally, because we're in a state of error, so all of the truth hits us in the face, and really we're surprised. So when that I issue hits us in the face, it's a matter of facing it, right? of actually coming to terms with it, being humble and experiencing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. All right, so does everyone understand what this is now? This is longing to, to God, directing a longing to God for divine love, for God's love to enter you. Uh, just having an openness, open longing for that. Now, if you have an open longing for that, every time you receive divine love or every time you receive divine truth, you will have an emotional experience probably. Sometimes they'll be very, a lot of times, and more often, they'll become more and more joyful experiences. Where you're overwhelmed with joy, with tears of joy. Yes, yeah. I've, I've experienced Or you're overwhelmed with it. Now, when you receive divine truth, you will often, also, in the, if you're humble, you'll be releasing error. And when you're releasing error, you'll be overwhelmed with tears of grief. <laughs> and that will also be part of the process as well. Uh, and... Because we're choosing all of our own emotions, we're going to let ourselves be overwhelmed no matter what the emotion. Yeah. It might be grief, it might be, you know, it might be unhappiness and grief and sadness and terror and fear and all those emotions are all on the side that we're experiencing that are painful and what we'll need to do is allow ourselves to feel that. Then on the pleasurable side, there might be all sorts of other emotions, desire, longing, you know, even sexual longing, all those other emotions that we haven't allowed ourselves to feel completely. And we need to let ourselves experience that. Excuse me.